attention. We will now begin the duel. Today's format will be a serial battle. If any of the challengers should defeat the current holder, they will then take her place and continue facing off against the remaining challengers. And the last pilot standing will be crowned our school's new holder. This will be an official bout, approved by the Ostacasia Dueling Committee. I, Elan Karras, as current leader of Pale House, will bear witness to this duel. Yeah, whatever. Care to explain why Filthy Rolo is representing Jeddark House? She's cramping my style. Uh, shut it! I could ask the same about you and Grassley House! How come Miss Sabina isn't here as their house's rep? She's busy. Plus, our roster is nice. Could you do us a favor and take your little squabble bigger. outside? What's that? Cecilia, please don't be rude to our observers. There are guests. Let's all play nice, yes? Mr. Elan sure has changed, hasn't he? It's like he's a different person. Unlocking MS Container now. KP-028, Ebony Boas. Azra-1, deploying. Now passing point N-138. Entering tactical testing sector. Everybody buckle up. Hey, Nika. Nika. Uh, uh, sorry, I got it. Saletta, are you ready? Yes. LP-041, Saletta Mercury, Ariel. Rocky! Both parties, face off. Victory is never decided by mobile suit performance alone. Nor by the skill of the pilot alone. The result itself is the only truth. And now, fix release. Your bride is mine! You Mercurian wench! as well as events organized by current students. The whole thing is like a big festival. Oh, look at them. Laughing there without a care in the world. It's not their fault. Can't blame them for not knowing. According to the media, what happened to Plant Quetta was an accident. The whole incident's been covered up. 
And if we ever talk about it, we'll be expelled immediately. We were attacked! We can't let it go! This isn't some schoolyard fight. Well, they deserve to be put away. Those terrorists! Choo-choo, keep it down. But still... How long are you two gonna keep moping about? It's been two weeks. No, shut it. Back there, that was actual combat. We were lucky. Next time, if we get caught up in it again... Don't worry. Ariel and I are here to keep you safe. Thank you, Miss Soletta. <gasps> oh, I'll be back. I've got to tend to the greenhouse. <sighs> she seems like she's in a pretty good mood. But didn't Soletta go outside the planet and fight the terrorists to save Miorine? <sighs> Most people would freak out. Anyway, the company's been suspended. At least until the president comes back, whenever that is. Spinal injuries can take years to recover from. You need to get some rest as well. The road ahead will be long. I understand. When are you going to wake up? You jerk. We've linked the attack to the Dawn of Fold. They're an anti-spatian group. Please tell us about their mobile suits. Is it true that Jeddak machines were used during the assault on the plant? Unfortunately, yes. They were using desulters. There's no mistake. Allowing your mobile suits to fall into the hands of terrorists. You must not be very careful picking your customers. Presently, we're working to identify the The topic of this discussion is your culpability. Acting CEO Louder Needle. <laughs> Shadik, carry on. Besides the desulters, there were two mobile suits with unregistered permit ID codes. We detected the gun format's parallel structure from these machines. In other words... They're Gundams. The heinous actions of these Earthians have claimed the lives of many, including Vim Jeter, and have left President Delling in critical condition. They cannot be forgiven. We must act swiftly but with discretion to find those responsible and make sure to repay this debt with our own hands. After all, the dignity of the entire Benerit group is at stake here. That's why we must stand together. If the truth were to ever get out, our company's credibility would be ruined. I'll ask you again. Are you certain you don't know where those two Gundams came from? I would never lie to you, Father. Until things settle down, you are not to leave the campus. Refrain from taking part in duels or conducting company business. Over here! Was President Sarius angry with you? Yeah, I might have lost my place as successor. He must have known that was coming. Anyway, what next? He fits into my plan. We'll drag him in. Is that why you summoned them? For your plan? Still questioning Miss Miorine as a person of interest. It'll be a little longer. You won't be able to speak to her until she's been cleared. Even I have to get permission before calling you. So, um, do you think she's reading my emails? Are you still thinking about that day, dear? How did you know? I'm your mother, silly. The truth is... I keep wondering if there wasn't a better way. If the two of you hadn't come to their rescue, Miss Miorine and the President would have lost their lives. Rest assured, you did the right thing. I understand. And if you're saying it, then there's no way it can be wrong. Of course. She'll come around soon. Hope so. Thanks, Mom. Tell me you found their source. No luck so far, ma'am. I'll keep investigating. Keep me updated. Thanks. Miss Nika? <gasps> oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to scare you. It's all right. I wanted to have a little chat with Ariel, if that's okay. Maybe she could give me some advice. A lot of things have been happening recently, huh? What about you? Um, is everything all right? Ever since we got back to school... You've been lost in thought, like something's bothering you. Wanna talk about it? I'm fine. It's nothing that important. Even so, I'm happy to listen. Um, I might not be able to help much, but I'll try. 
Because, Miss Nika, you're a precious friend and I... I'm here for you. Suleta, you're amazing. Huh? Just like during the attack, you boarded Ariel to help Miorine without a second thought. I could never do anything that scary. Truth is, back there, I couldn't stop shaking. But then, my mom appeared next to me. Your mom? She always helps me move forward. When she's with me, I can do anything. It's almost like she's a magician. Run and get one. Move forward and gain two. That was the motto she taught me growing up. And it could help you too, Miss Nika. Thanks for that. There you are! <laughs> I finally found you, Vincent! Uh, 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 sorry, who are you? <laughs> it's really you! Big Sister Suleta! You wanna join us? Since we're Earthians, they sent us here. Noria Dunok, Sophie Poulinay. First year piloting majors. It's a little odd transferring schools in the middle of the term. You're an outsider. Mind your own business. Now that stinks. We are co workers, remember? You didn't even invite me on your little plant trip. It wasn't worth it. Trust me. What should we do, Martin? If they're Earthians, they're welcome to stay here. <sighs> I say that. But both of them have already moved in with all their stuff. Oh my. Who are they? This one's my dad. And this is my mom, and they're my sisters. I actually wanted to bring a lot more of them, but Noria wouldn't let me. Here's the thing. Truth is, I had no interest in going to school, but I did come to make you my friend. Huh? Why would you want to be friends with me? Oh, oh I bet I know. You probably saw our PR video, right? Ah, uh, sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> so teach me all you know, okay? Big sister Suleta. Big sister? Um, you got it! Yeah! As your big sister, I'll teach you everything I know, Sophie! I promise! What's the meaning of this? It says here that you've been endorsed by a company within the Benerit Group. But it doesn't actually exist, does it? Correct. We're no different than you. The Prince set up a dummy company for us. Why did you come here? That doesn't concern a go-between like you. I don't know what you all are planning. But we don't want to be placed in any more danger. So please. You talk as if you're some innocent victim in all this. <sighs> we're rather grateful, you know. It's thanks to you that we were able to mount an attack on Delling Rembrandt. <gasps> I've heard about you. You wanted to become a bridge between Earth and space. What a lovely dream. Why don't we work together towards our respective goals? That way we all get what we want without anyone being exposed. your friend. I wanted to look around on my own. We have quite the inspiring campus here. It's huge. It's got clean, well-circulated air, a sky of vivid blue, with lush vegetation, smiling faces all around. It makes me sick. Ah, kindred spirit. Eggplant Coetta, 
you're the one who saved us, right? Martan. Still, as house leader, I'm responsible for everyone's safety. If you're hiding something, please tell me. It's nothing, all right. Nika! I just didn't want to die, so I set out an SOS. We got lucky. Why waste time setting up our own booth? We don't get a chance like this every day. We can use this to promote the company while making a bit of money, too. Plus, we could all use a pick-me-up. <sighs> yep, I agree. Look at that! What are you rotten earthians so happy about? <laughs> you wanna fight? The Great Mistress Holder is acting like she's already won tomorrow's Rumble Ring. <sighs> if it weren't for you, it would have been the perfect stage for Mr. Guell to show off his super cool style! You'd better get ready. Cause Jeddak House is gonna smash you into tiny pieces. Screw you! So, should I know what this Rumble Ring thing is? It's a free-for-all mock battle, held on the last day of Open Campus. It's one of the most popular events. Lots of students participate to show off their piloting skills. One of the rules is that the holder's required to take part. <gasps> oh, I thought we told you. Just have Nika show you the video from last year. Speaking of, where'd Nika run off to? She's not picking up either. I'll look for her. Leave it to me. Now that you mention it, those transfer students disappear too. The prince asked you to look into this thing? It's a Gundam, but totally different from the Ur or Thorn. If it'll be an obstacle, we should destroy it now. And you? Does Suleta Mercury have what you've been looking for? She's awesome! And really nice! Although, I'm not getting the same feeling from that day at the plant. Seems they've encrypted access to the gun format. I'm locked out. Get away from the Fair Act! Neither of you should be here! Leave the school immediately! You're talking as if you have proof of who we are. But you don't, do you? After all, you couldn't turn us in without taking yourself down. Find them! I'll tell them everything about the dummy companies! You're honestly so stupid. <laughs>
was desperate to keep you safe. I won't deny that she went too far in this case, but she only wanted to protect a precious friend. I already know that. <laughs> I'm here to ask a favor of you. Quiet, Sarah. What's that? It's a top-secret project President Delling was working on. The goal is to take the Gund Format's network and use it to forever end all wars. It's your father's greatest wish. Forever end war? But how? Miorine Rembrandt, would you take over Quiet Zero and continue your father's work? Next time, on Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury. What they wish for. Thank you. I refuse to be his substitute. What if I told you the originator was Notret Rembrandt? Uh, wait, my mother? How much do you know about data storms? It's the cause of the Gundam's curse. True, for humans at least. But that is merely one aspect of the data storm phenomenon. It can also form unique hyperdense information systems. Hyperdense? You've seen it with your own eyes. Time and again, hasn't Ariel overridden her opponents during duels? It's thanks to that. I see. So you're trying to harness it. A radical new network concept. One that can take advantage of this data storm phenomenon to control any system via its permit link connection. Ariel will be the trigger that activates Quiet Zero. Is that it? Is my lousy father trying to become God? Indeed. The most arrogant God imaginable. That being said, I sympathize with his aims. To make a world without the sadness of conflict or loss. I decided to give the President my assistance. It's why I sent Suleta to your school and let her fight in duels. I knew it. You were using her! The only thing that girl ever wanted was to go to school. As a parent, I've made every effort to realize that dream. <sighs> and due to the school's rules, I didn't have to worry about her safety. It was the perfect environment. We could work on Ariel's optimization in peace. Things were going well. That is, until the plant was attacked. Unless the President awakens, we cannot proceed with Quiet Zero. What's worse, if the group finds out, the plan could even be shelved. Aren't you afraid that I might leak this to someone? I'm confident you won't do that. Because you haven't left yet. We can't allow your father's greatest wish to perish. Can we? Gun technology? <laughs> Why, hello there. Would you like some nutritious goat milk? <laughs> Told you it wasn't gonna sell, but you didn't listen. Well, they're missing out. It's done. Is that for Nika? Yeah, she'll at least let us give her first aid, right? She should have just told us she had an accident. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's the same as always. She'd rather keep things to herself. She treats us like we're nothing but strangers. Do you mind if I ask you what happened between the three of you back there? Forget it. Telling you would only bring you more trouble. I've brought trouble onto you too. I want to know. So please. I'm an orphan, like them. I never knew my parents, or even where I was born. I was stuck in a tiny room, and spent every day assembling components. But my greatest dream was to go to school. So when they told me I could go to Ostacasia, I was really happy. It was the best day of my life. And when you told me it was your first time ever attending school, I couldn't believe it. You were exactly like me. But in reality, I was projecting myself onto you. That's all. Miss Nika. Don't worry. I'll take care of the situation myself. Please promise me. You'll stay here at school. Saletta. 
Mr. Elian. It's finally just the two of us. Uh, I'm sorry. I've got to go help with the booth. I'm sure they're fine. More importantly, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, why have you been avoiding me? You're the person who brought me out of my solitude. And didn't you say you wanted to know more about me? Please, go on. I'm dying for an actual sign of your affection. I need it. Fix this! There's a booth I want to see! Uh, hold on! Please stop, Sophie! No way! <laughs> That's too bad for you. You couldn't win her heart. Well, guess there's always next time. Can a Gundam pilot really count on a next time? You're on Pale's leash. Wasting your life in a toy garden. It's comical. You've got that look. It reminds me of someone I used to know. A pitiful guy who couldn't even choose whether he'd live or die. Now that was funny. If I remember, he died all alone. You're quite an irritating fellow. Hey, thanks. You're pretty annoying yourself. He was bothering you, wasn't he? That guy makes my skin crawl. You don't know him. He's usually a nice guy. I've decided what my stake is gonna be. If I win, I want you to become my real big sis. Um, real? Yup. Once I beat you, we'll be an actual family. I'll even give up on killing Mika for you. My apologies. You see, I already have a bride. Huh, a bride? I made a promise to Miss Miorine that I'd stay by her side and never lose a duel. I have to win. I don't have a choice. Hold on. Miorine Rembrandt, Delling's daughter, and the president of Gundarm Incorporated. I get it! So she's the person who keeps holding you back! If I kill her, would I be able to see the real you come out again? What's that mean? Hey, uh, this is the dueling committee. Students participate. Well, that's that! Good luck in the duel! Wait, come back! What about the dueling now? All students participating in the rumble ring. Attention! We will now begin the special event, Astacasia's Rumble Ring Battle! This duel will be a battle royale, and the time limit is 30 minutes. Contestants will be eliminated when their blade antennas are broken, and the last pilot standing will be declared the victor. Anyone can participate. It's an exhibition match after all, so there's no shame if you get eliminated early. As of tomorrow, I'll officially be CEO of Jetter Heavy Industries. Ending my campus life here. That's why. Before that happens, I'll make sure we crush the Mercurian wench who humiliated us. I swear it. We're gonna beat her! The Delonza is ready. I made sure it was in perfect condition. You can give it everything you've got, sir. Thank you, Petra. Mm. Attention pilots. Please <laughs> board your mobile Renee, suits now. Don't go off alone. Did you not to remind me? What about Nika and the transfer students? There's no time. Just focus on this. Container lunch preparations complete. Yeah! We'll be counting on you, LM. This is the perfect chance to promote Gund Arm Inc. Don't hold back, okay? If I went all out, I could actually die, you know. What did she mean by the real me? And that stuff about killing people. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. If I win, I can save Miss Mika. And I can ask Sophie about it later. Serving as witness is the CEO of Grassley Defense Systems. Join me in welcoming President Sarius Zanelli. Who'd have thought serving as Delling surrogate? KP-014, Sabina Farden. LP-013, Renee Costa, Pine Green. Let's go! KP-013, loud and kneel. Go on, moving out. MP-039, Chewatory Pan Lunch, Demi Trainer. KP-002, LM Karras, Fair Act. LP-041, Suleta Mercury, Ariel, deploying! So then, Belle, you wanted to talk? Where are you? Sophie. Suleta, uh, the battle's starting. I uh, got it. Let the rumble ring begin. Work together until the holder falls, right? We'll fight afterwards. Mr. Hillen. I'll exterminate these pesky. 
the incense for you. But as a reward for my hard work, perhaps we can have some private time? Our priority is taking out the aerial and ferrite. Copy that!
to pretend to be losing is really stressing me out. Bring it on! You're the one who wanted this doll, right? Come on! My back already! Please stop this! People are gonna die! Your life is forfeit the moment you step into a mobile suit. Don't they teach you that in school? Why are you using guns like this? There's no other way for me to get the things I want! Enough food to fill my stomach. A fluffy bed to sleep on. Warm showers, too. That's not the end of it. Comic books, video games. I want a family. To be surrounded by people who always love me. Look at this. Killing is wrong, no matter what. I won't forgive you. I promise. If it's the last thing I do. I'll kill you all myself! Someone help! Can anyone hear me? The fifth ray Mr. Loud is going to die! Go find someone else, you damn space and turd! If you don't bring your permit score, you'll die next! Tell him, Karen! You must be joking. I changed my face in order to stay alive. There's no way I'm throwing it away for this. Keep up your Gundam! Finally! Get the president to a secure location! Uh, 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 who are you? I'm sorry, sir. Don't resist. Shadik wants to see you. Please, come with us. What is the meaning of this? Shadik! Thank you for taking me under your wing. Sorry, Zanelli. Seems we're done here. It's time to go, Sophie. Damn. She left. But why? Ooh. You must have them too, big Sisaletta. Things you want, they do kill for! Perhaps that pride of yours? Your precious Miorine? Don't tell me you wouldn't wield that killing machine for her sake! Suleta can pilot Ariel seemingly unaffected by the storm, as if the burden of controlling the gun bits was being placed on someone else. Why don't you come out and say it? You had another daughter. She must have escaped too, but I haven't seen her at all. Where is Eric now? She's there. Uh -huh. Right at Suleta's side. No! Hold on, Ariel! Please stop it! <laughs> Be. You turned 
turned your own daughter into a mobile suit. You make it sound so cruel. She's gained a new body. You should be glad for her. For Aerie is the future of the gun format. See for yourself. What's Quiet Zero? It's a project conceived by Delling Rembrandt. We'll use the gun format to eliminate all conflict. Just think of it. What are you really after? I have to know. If you wanted to realize the President's plan, the permit scores here far exceed what's needed. I want to rewrite the world. For what purpose? Everything I do is for Aerith's happiness. Sophie! There's nothing that can be done now. She died before any of your weapons could reach her. It's our fate to one day be killed by the Gundam's curse. Yet you're perfectly fine. What the hell are you? No kidding. Sophia and Noria. Where is Nika Nanau? She's under arrest for suspected terrorism. All Earth House students are coming in for questioning, too. What Sophie said about Gundams has to be wrong. I know it. Gundams are mobile suits that are supposed to save lives. Yeah, you're right. some cartridges. I had a shipment come in. Thanks. We're running out of painkillers. Can we get more? I'll let Najee know. Come on! I said to eat, Spatian! Sato, Cethia, how is he? It's no use, Olcott. This guy won't take a single bite. Look. He keeps mumbling oh, something at you. What a weirdo. Please, no. Father... Forgive me. It's all my fault. When did you last eat? Three days ago. Seda, the uh, food. Yeah. Guel Jeturk, you're going to be our bargaining chip. We can't have you dying yet. So eat up. Evacuating? We received a message from Noria. It appears the Benerit group has sniffed us out. What about the refugees? I'm not gonna leave my family behind. We'll find a safe place for them. It's the least we can do after they let us hide here. Krista, get the transport ships ready to launch. The rest of you help however you can. We'll be moving to the western airfield. Roger that! If it weren't for you, Sophie would still be alive. Now your actions have put Najee in danger too. Along with lots of innocent people. All because of those silly ideals of yours. Now, now, let's just calm down. You have to stop this. You can't go on a rampage and kill others. I know how much you hate the Spatians, but please. If all you do is cause suffering, no one will ever listen to Earthian's voices again. What you're doing is wrong. You must know that. <laughs> how dare you lecture me? You of all people don't get to talk to me like you know anything! You ran away to this school and forgot the whole reason why we're fighting! You have a stupid childish dream! Why couldn't you have died instead? You are 
got to stop there. I can't allow you to kill her. I'm sure I don't need to remind you that your freedom is in our hands. Don't touch me, traitor! All because of her damned ego. Dozens or hundreds of our comrades will die. They'll be killed in those so-called security operations. Which one of us is causing suffering? You spoiled brat! As long as it's within the school, I can do anything I want. It was easy. Impersonating the guards, and detaining you. If your aim was to inherit Grassley, you wouldn't have had to do this. What are you really after? Is it control of the group? There's something I want to do. Currently, the group covertly subsidizes the cost of space development through war partitioning. So you see, my goal is to break this system. What shallow nonsense. The vested interest structure is far more complex than you know. Don't act rashly. Where the Earth will become embroiled in proxy wars. Corporations will divide it up piecemeal. I imagine profits will fall too. But I have a better idea. All that can be avoided if we sell the group's assets to Earth. What do you mean? Who knows when the next war will start? We'll use the friction between Earth and the corporations to create a situation that acts as a deterrence. If we do that, no one will have any reason to start a war on Earth, yes? I'm curious. Why are you taking action now? Is this personal? As a half-Earthian yourself, I imagine you hold quite a strong grudge against Spatians. <laughs> it's nothing so simple. Then again, as long as Spatians are in control, we Earthians have no recourse. There can be no change without power, after all. That's why I don't have any choice but to take it. No signs of any targets in the EMS coverage area. Disperse and continue searching in individual teams. You're authorized to use force to neutralize any resistance. Roger. This doesn't make any sense. What's the point of sending out the group security forces instead of Dominicus? It's too late. The incident at the school is already leaked. You can thank the board. They're trying to avoid being in debt to Cathedra. Sure, but is this something corporations should be handling alone? That surely can't end well. Or they're after something else. Huh? I must go. I'll be in touch. Thank you for coming to see me today. What can I do for you? There's something I wanted to ask you about. Ask me. Tell me what Quiet Zero is. Who thieves to that truck? Sick things are over here! I need some help! Oh, oh come gosh. on, Bessie! Let me be the point man for this one. Were you not paying attention to the mission brief? You still don't have the experience, rookie. I proved myself at the plant. Meanwhile, you're hiding like some Freddy cat. You don't know what you're talking about. Philip, don't lose your cool. Sorry. Whenever I think of my family, I just... Where's Mr. Olcott? Shouldn't he be packing too? That guy doesn't have any personal belongings. He threw them all away. A long time ago. They're calling it a grave for Sophie. All of the children looked up to her as their hero. We're evacuating. We don't have time for this. They're trying to keep her memory. If they don't, they'll be overwhelmed by the fear that they could die next. It's too much to bear. And I suppose pleading to the dead erases that fear? Well, you of all people should understand. I've forgotten. We're all ready to go now. The first flight can leave any time. Got it. On my way. Hey kids! Get over to the vehicles! We gotta go! We'll take off at 0500. I'll leave the rest to you. All the mobile suit pilots will remain here. There's no telling when the enemy will attack. Are you sure? We're prepared for the worst. What about the little prince? If it comes to it, he'll be our backup plan. I'm the one who insisted on bringing him after all. <laughs> How honorable. That's just like you. Why'd you leave the chain gun behind? You know me. I like to keep everything lightweight. Proteros, 
Let's go. The garrison forces could arrive as early as tonight. Our priority is keeping those evacuating hidden. We're not looking for a fight. Only engage and attack first. If you encounter the enemy, try to draw their fire away from the transports to give them time to get the refugees safely out of here. Roger! There's about 20% left. We should be finished loading in three hours. Send us word when you're done. Then go on and join the others. Damn, it's hot. Isn't it supposed to cool down at night? Jeez. Huh? Let me go! I have what to kill him! What are you doing here? No, stop Get me. back to the trucks. But... Oh, God. Go. Before he left, he said he'd come back. He promised he would. But how come instead of Daddy, they brought you back? She's right. Why me and not my father? Why? That day, if I had died, the father... <laughs> You damn bastards! Keep your 
Suspect list, sir? A former Dominicus pilot. What? He was a hot-headed kid, totally unafraid of higher-ups with his own sense of justice. But in the end, he was attacked by Earthians and presumed dead. I'm guessing his family became collateral damage during the assault. I threw that away. All those damn things were weighing me down!
wanted him to come save her. I failed. I'm coming. Hold on. I'll save you. Tell me, what should I do? I'm not your father, kid. As for what to do next, you'll have to figure that out yourself. Fine. Then could you at least tell me how to get to the orbital permit lift? How come? There are things that still bind me to my father. I swear. I won't let them fade away. It started as a modest idea. Your mother had a background in botanical engineering. She studied the survival strategies of plants and theorized ways they could be applied to better humanity. It was a dream with no real basis, but only she could have come up with that. And one of the most fervent supporters of her vision was your father, Delling Rembrandt. I always thought that my parents' marriage was one of convenience. Your father was a soldier. He could ill afford things like that. The battlefield. A place where chaos and death reign. There, people forsook their own will and left everything to their weapons. Soldiers were thought of as expendable. I lost many comrades in battle. So is that why you hunted Gundams? Even if the measures were drastic, all your father wanted was the restoration of human nature. And yet, although he could restrict conflict through war partitioning, he never truly managed to achieve order. Because of this, Mistress Notret's vision became a source of hope for him. Until the accident happened. If he felt sad, he certainly didn't show it. There was always some new enemy or fire to be put out. Don't make excuses for him. But now I understand why he set up the marriage game. He thought he was keeping me safe, marrying me off to whoever was strongest in the group. On top of that, it was good camouflage for Quiet Zero. <laughs> the President is single-minded in fulfilling his vow to Mistress Notra, even if he has to use the very Gundams he buried. Mistress Miorine, you are not him. Your life is yours to live. So please, Follow your heart. Next time on Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury. Cycle of Sin. You had another daughter. She must have escaped too. But I haven't seen her. Where is Eric now? She's there. Uh -huh. Right at Suleta's side, beyond the veil of the data storm, she's there, waiting for us. It can't be. You turned your own daughter into a mobile suit. My wish is to rewrite this world. Everything I do is for Ares' happiness. I couldn't believe my eyes at first, but from the moment she entered Ilfrith, her biometric code was in sync with the data storm. Even so, the harsh conditions of space were more than her little body could endure. I saved her the only way I could, with a new body in the form of Ilfrith. She lives on as Ariel. Then you did it using the Data Storm's network. Transferred her biometric code into your Gundam. Ari exists as nothing but permat particles now. Without Ariel to contain her, her consciousness would disintegrate in physical space. But with a permit score of eight, if we can use Quiet Zero, we'll be able to expand the Data Storm's range. And my Aerie can live a life of freedom. You'll help me, Belle. Won't you? I can't do that. You can't? Why not? It's against the principles of the Vonidus Institute. That didn't stop you before. <gasps> Creating enhanced humans with artificial central nervous systems built to resist the data storm? Dr. Carter would be appalled. You know that. Please stop. Neural expansion theory wasn't her idea. It was yours. Stop it! That's enough! Please! There's 
There's no escaping this for either of us. In light of the kidnapping of Grassley CEO Sarius Zanelli, the repercussions of the terror attack at Ostacasia School continue to mount. The Dawn of Old, an anti-spatian terror group, also believed to be behind the recent incident at Blancoeta, has claimed responsibility. Vim Jeddak, CEO of Jeddak Heavy Machinery, is dead. Some sources indicate that Benarek Group President Delling Rembran was gravely injured as well. Business administrative law grants Benarek Security Forces broad discretion in carrying out operations on Earth. But in response to their heavy-handed tactics, Earthian protests have begun to escalate into riots. The group's enforcement actions have garnered intense criticism, and the response has been swift. It would seem that confidential group business has been leaked. Any news regarding Sarius's whereabouts? Nothing except the single video message he sent us. The front management company is still searching. What kind of game is Cathedra playing? By now we should have had these terrorist heads on stakes! If only you had taken the opportunity during the open campus event. All oh, these hardline policies have begun to backfire. And now we have the Space Assembly League taking an interest as well. This mustn't continue. Agreed. It appears the Benerit group will have no choice but to elect a new president. As expected. And you'll be running too, right, Shadik? It would be a waste not to. But if President Delling is Miss Mjorni's father, doesn't that mean she gets to take over? You can't get to the top of the group just based on your bloodline. True, although, if she had the backing of one of the three branches... She Please, Shadik. It was a hypothetical. Well, I'm off. The head office is waiting for me. So the group's ready to clear my company of any suspicion, right? As of now, we have no evidence that Gundarm was involved. Great. Best of luck with your hunt. Looks like we're picking a new president. Good for you. All those students will have to find a new trophy to duel over. Yeah, good for me. Like I care. I mean, you're still here too, aren't you, Cecilia? Someone's gotta stick around in case somebody wants a duel. So you do take this seriously? Plus, the princess's birthday is coming up soon. We don't know who her groom is going to be yet. I'm not leaving till we do. Let me go, Siletta! How long are those spaceship turrets gonna keep Nika in custody? Don't get in trouble running around with a wrench! They already suspended all of Earth House. Please don't go making it worse. They told us they were still investigating her, right? It's been five whole days! Look, they were suspicious of us in the first place for being Earthians. It's how they work. But this is different! They confiscated Ariel! They even locked up my freaking Demi! What's that about? If you can take a hint from Suleta and just keep cool for the next two days, we'll be able to... <laughs> You jerks! Are you kidding me right now? Get out of our school, terrorist. You brought the Gundams here! You set them up to attack us! Dude, you're just talking sh- uh, None of us knew anything about Sophie or that other girl. Enough! How is harassing us gonna help anybody? You're covering for your fellow witches. Witches? We heard about it from our staff. The witches who invented the Gundams. They threw away pilots' lives in their experiments. But our Gundams aren't meant to take lives! That's a lie! We saw the rumble ring! <sighs> We saw our friend Jubeju die because of you. Now give us our friend back, you murderers! More time. You're bleeding. You don't know how bad you guys start up! Enough, all of you. Miss Miorine, you're back. That looked like assault to me. So what do you suppose it would look like to the school? Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. Nika Nanelra. <laughs>
Would you like to become a part of our group? Uh, I've been watching you. Your skill as a mechanic, your behavior on campus. If you'll join us, we can find a place for you to continue your studies. You could still achieve your dream of bridging Earth and space. I already made a decision. I refuse to act like a victim anymore. We may want the same thing, but I can't agree with your way of getting it. Even if we're doing it for Earth? Wait, are you saying you're an Earthian too? I used to be, until Grassley took me in. You have no way out of here without us. You can't achieve your ideals. But Shadik and I will make it happen. We'll accomplish the dream of bridging Earth and space. Let's cut right to the chase. We need you to bring us the aerial. Then I'm taking it instead of winning over Soleta Mercury? The presidential race is beginning. The dueling game is over. What's more, your performance during the Rumble Ring did little to reaffirm our faith in you. Quite the opposite, in fact. I figured it was better to watch how the situation evolved. Fortunately for you, that event culminated in the confiscation of the aerial. If you want to live, you'll carry out this mission without fail. What's the latest? The company's fractured. There are currently six factions. And we're dead last, right? We'll be first soon enough. That's the plan. Back at last. Feels like it's been ages. Hey, Lana. Petra. How have you two been? Mr. Goel? <gasps> You're back! Where did you... Mr. Lauda? <laughs> Lauda! He must have been overwhelmed. After you disappeared... and the... incident at Plant Coeta, he had no choice but to take over as acting CEO, and the group started badgering him for answers. As if he had any. They're holding him responsible. I'm sorry, but while you were gone, your father was... Yeah, I'm aware. Everything just fell in Mr. Lauda's lap. He never had any time to grieve. I think that's why... Petra, take care of my brother. Uh... I'll take care of the rest. What? Wait! We're glad you're back. <laughs> According to what we've dug up, the front management company isn't involved in this matter. How's that possible? Nika Nanaro was most likely taken by a third party disguised as front management employees. Can you confirm the official departure list? Not a problem. Though there is something I'll need from you in return for that information. Uh. Unrestricted access to any and all gunned arm facilities. You want to investigate our company? In particular, I'm curious about this Shinsei Development Corporation you acquired. Keep me informed on anything you find. You're going yourself? The repair cost for their Gundam was obviously inflated, and they had a ton of equipment delivered to plant Coeta. Odd for such a low-ranking outfit, wouldn't you say? You think the group is up to something? Hmm. I think the higher-ups want to intervene. And if one group doesn't give them an excuse, they'll make one up. We're going to do our job as mediators. And keep things from getting messier than they have to. Well, what's up? The front management company doesn't have Nika. <gasps> so, do we know where she is? They're looking into it for me. Be patient, okay? Be patient? Good to hear. <sighs> We've been digging too, and we haven't found Jack. So, like, you know... Thank you. Hey, I'm just doing my job. Great. Speaking of... Uh, uh, we're currently suspended from doing business, but we're still incurring maintenance costs. And we'll need you to authorize a bunch of back payments. You have a lot of notifications to check, too. Also, hey, we need you to sign the release for... Out. What's going to miss me, Arine? Okay, I attempt to hear everybody's concerns, but can we not all talk at once? Uh, oh, I, uh, I was 
was hoping you might come look at the greenhouse. Lily, could gather up everything you need me to check. Yes, ma'am. Greenhouse? Good. Yeah, greenhouse! Hello, everyone. Oh, hope I'm not interrupting. Who's that? Why are you here, Mom? She's your mom? <gasps> I didn't know you were coming. The investigators are finished with my questioning. And we haven't had a chance to talk face to face since the incident. I'd love to show you around a little bit if you'd like. Thank you, but I'm happy to look around on my own. Aww. Weren't you going somewhere with your fiance? If I were you, I'd make her my priority. Yeah. Good point. <sighs> All right, then. Uh, okay. We'll be back. No rush, sweetheart. Lovely to meet you all. So, I'm Suleta's mom. Hi. Sorry about this, Suleta Mercury. Your so-called family's mine now. No response. But didn't it work for number four? Data storm? Why is it happening now? Stay away. <laughs> Suleta, is that you? This place isn't for you. You're not her. Who are these kids? from the top. You should be helping me. Well, I can't. So fiddling with this mobile suit is harder than swapping out a living person's central nervous system? What else would you have had me do back then? Huh? All my colleagues burned along with everything we'd worked on. The only place I could find shelter was at Pale. I had to hold out hope. <laughs> I thought humanity had a future with the gun. <laughs> and what about the future you stole from us? You doomed us to death with your enhancements. <sighs> was it just because you're so scared of dying yourself? That wasn't what I wanted. Enough of your lies! <gasps> I'm gonna report this. All of it. <sighs> I said it to the Andy Sunlight model, like you told me to. Good. You got all my emails, right? Everyone. Three a day. And I didn't lose any duels. I can see the holder uniform. Are you mad at me, Miss Murine? Huh? About what happened at the plant. What I did. If anything, you should be mad at me. Huh? If you hadn't been there, my father and I would both be dead. But the way I reacted, what I called to you... I've been wanting to apologize. What I should have said was thank you. <sighs> I knew it. It's exactly like Mom told me. She said that if I gave it time, you would understand. And you would realize that Ariel and I did the right thing when we saved you. The right thing, huh? You know, run and gain one, move forward and gain two. I stood and fought instead of running away. And because I did, you and all my friends from Earth House are safe and sound. But how can you be smiling like that? I know you saved my life. But still, you just crushed a person to death. 
It was the right choice to make. But that doesn't mean it's something you should smile about. But we... we were the only ones who could have saved everyone, and we did Is it, Is that so... what your mom told you? Well, yeah. Would you be willing to do anything your mom tells you to do? I think anything might be going a little far. Then what if she said to give up on your dreams of building a school for Mercury? I think I would struggle with that. A lot. But... I guess I'd do it if she told me that's what's best. Didn't we say Gundarm wasn't going to be another weapons company? We chose to build Gundams as medical devices! To save lives, right? What if your mom tells you to kill with them? Will you still do what she says? Yes. I would if she told me to. I couldn't have come to school if I hadn't listened to Mom. It's thanks to her that I met all my friends. And you miss me, Orine. So of course I trust her. She's done so much for me.
not suspended anymore? Right. Yesterday marked the end of the week-long suspension. I see. So, um... I know that what I said to you the other day was kind of weird. Sorry. Tell me something. Huh? Hypothetically, if I asked you to get rid of Ariel, would you? Uh, um... I... I'd refuse. Ariel... She's family to me. I couldn't. Uh, by the way, it's almost your birthday, isn't it? I guess. How do you want to celebrate? It's on my wish list. Getting to celebrate a friend's birthday, so I wanted to try it. Also, your birthday marks the end of the dueling game, which means... We'll see. Seems ever since your father was kidnapped, you've been quite busy acting as his successor. In the upcoming race, I intend to run for the president's seat on behalf of Grassley. Which is why I'd like to form an alliance with Vale. A partnership, if you will. Partnership implies give and take. What's in it for us? I'll revamp the group's business model and support Gundam use. You're not serious. I'll transfer Gundarming to you as well. I imagine Pale Technologies wouldn't be opposed to reacquiring the Ferax development team. Will we be getting the Ariel along with the company? I'll leave this sales plan to you. Set the terms as you see fit. How does Sarius feel about this? That man is far too hard-headed to accept such a change. I doubt the Council will stay quiet either. I'll step in to take the criticism. After all, Grassley is Cathedra's largest investor. Well... Was it your aim to get into the Gundam business? I can't imagine a better opportunity for you to get what you want. In other words, Sarius won't be returning. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> Miss Miorne! Uh, Mr. Alien? I have a favor to ask. You can't be in here! This is Miss Miorne! <laughs> Would you please hand Ariel over to me? What do you mean? I'm begging you. You can be my savior. Oh, let me go! What's wrong? I thought you liked me, Saletta. In that case... No! Stay back! The way you are now? I don't like you! How you annoy me. I've had enough of your whining. The man you're thinking of is long gone. Now. Be a good girl and hand over Ariel right <laughs> Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Well, well, look who's here. It seems the prodigal son has returned. For as long as I've known you, I've never been able to figure you out. What are you so afraid of? Quit trying to act all cool just because there's a girl here, you show off! <laughs> <laughs> Give up already. If you make a mess, no apology will get you off the hook. Um, thank you for helping me. So, uh, I heard someone say that you quit school. Lauda went behind Dad's back and put a hold on my withdrawal. So I was able to re-enroll. And about your father, I want to give my deepest and sincerest condolences. It's all right. I have a purpose in life now. Huh? I'll rebuild the Jeddar Company, no matter what. It's all I have left of my father. <gasps> have you heard what's happened to it? Yes. A at least, I've heard things are bad. I already talked to Lauda. We decided I'd take over. The company is on the brink. We have to do something. I'll save it. I can't bear to lose any more of the things that are precious to me. Precious things? I see. As soon as my re-enrollment is complete, I'll go back to the company. Before that, I wanted to see the school one more time. I'm going to see Jetter Cows and apologize to them. I don't get it. Why are you telling me all this? Move forward and gain two. After all that's happened, I finally understand how frightening it is to move forward. The truth is, 
I ran away because I was scared. But now, I can continue on. And you taught me how. Oh, hold on! T sorry, I can't take credit for that. Though, that's good to hear. I'm glad. Those words, they help me too. I love them. <laughs> there you go again. That's why I fell for you. <laughs> someone like that, isn't it? that of a lion. Do you have any lion-based insults? Huh? Oh. Suleta Mercury, tell us, what will be your stake in this duel? Oh. Um... If I beat you in today's duel, will you lend a hand to Earth House? What do you mean? Ever since the open campus, everyone in Earth House has been shunned and treated like criminals. If Cheddar House helped us by taking our side, maybe... I accept. Goel Jeturk, what are you declaring as your stake in this duel? If I beat you, hand over the aerial. <gasps> Hold on, I don't understand. I thought you weren't after her. Let him try. <gasps> Miss Miorini? It doesn't matter as long as you win. Isn't that right? Yeah. Alia Yakta Est. This duel has been approved. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for what? For Suleta. You really like her, don't you? She knows how I feel. Also, there are more important things at stake here. Speaking of her, is what you said about her mother true? It is. Suleta obeys anything her mother says without question. But the truth is... She was only sent here to fight in duels using Ariel. All I want is for her to be happy. That girl deserves a life free from fighting in Gundams. If only that were possible. Huh? I need a favor. What is it? Can you lend me some scissors? You sure Ariel's okay to duel? We don't have much of a choice. The school took her away during our suspension. And it's not like we have money for repairs. So annoying! 
only Nika were here! Now that you mention it, I haven't seen Miss Mirene around either. Please forgive me. My work schedule was moved up on me. It's alright, I get it. Look at this! Miss Mirene said it would be my victory charm. Good luck, dear. Stay focused. <laughs> Preparations are complete. I feel bad for her. She seems so fired up. That's rich coming from you. Well, when the time comes, I'll signal you. You can do as you like. Mr. Guo's back! Whoa, what happened to your hair? I thought I could do with a change. You don't like it? Hey, Guo. I did as much as I could to optimize the suit. But what about the AI? Leave it in. Good and hurt. Are you sure? I've realized pride alone isn't enough to beat her. And when exactly were you going to tell me about it? Yeah, sorry, the timing just never felt right. So, how far have you gotten with it? Huh? Lauda, please forgive me. Where is this coming from? Throwing your older brother. I've never done a thing for you. Whatever happens, I'll always support you. That's what I promised you when we met. We're connected with carrier gate number two. Already here. Go, oh, Guo! Well. You got this! Good luck. I'm off. Snooping around, I was wrecked. Currently, Pale isn't that happy with me, so I figure since we're all fugitives, we could be friends. <laughs> Thanks, but I'll have to pass. Why don't you climb into a Gundam and die already? I intend to go on living for a while. Getting killed by you or dying in a Gundam would really hamper my plans. What do you mean, dying? Both parties, the base <laughs> off. Victory is never determined by mobile suit performance alone. Nor is it decided by the skill of the pilot alone. The result itself is the only truth. All right, fix release. Brother! Yeah, I know. But I have to close the range.
You're as strong as I thought, but... Ariel! System, its unique information sharing properties became the basis for multiple new technologies. In today's world, we rely on permit links for control and management of all kinds of systems. Question! Is it used in the campus monorail too? Yes, that is a good example. The campus transit system uses permit links to connect the cars to central dispatch. She'd handle losing the holder's title to Guel. They took Ariel from her, too. There's no way she's okay right now. She must really be hurting, especially the way things ended with Miss Miorine. Uh, today's special a Ramoodle bowl with all the toppings I could fit. Now let's eat. So, hey, Suleta, when you spoke up in class today, I. Did I uh... seem cool? Uh huh. Raise your hand, and ask a question in a cool way. Huh? Was that something on your wish list, too? And I can cross off a second item today. Chatting with all my friends over lunch in the cafeteria. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Please. We need your support to rebuild Jetter Kevy machinery. And your subsidiary merger plan is... How far past due again? <laughs> We're not financing a company that can't hit its own goals, even if Vimjetter's son runs it. 
that's a bust. The financier said no. They look at me and see a kid without any track record. So it's a track record you need? Fortunately, your company has an unannounced mobile suit in development. <laughs> There's a new model? <laughs> Cheddar built a Gundam?! It's our next generation concept model, the Schwarzet. I knew Dad had been working on something, but... You snake! You know you can't share Gundam technology without my consent! And why didn't you say anything before, Goel? Because I just found out about it! This happened before you acquired Shinsei. Their late CEO was eager to partner with us. He seemed to find our drone technology intriguing. Our ranking back then was rock bottom, so... <laughs> Yeah, I get it. What's your plan? Simple enough. Why not announce that this model was developed as a joint venture between Gundarm and Jeddar Heavy Machinery? <coughs> it would be an excellent selling point to promote your new union to the rest of the group. Not an option. Oh. Mobile suits aren't our business. Gundarm Inc. is not a weapons company. Our field is medicine. We use Gundam technology for saving lives. Remember, you're running for the president's seat. Principles aren't enough. You need a track record, too. If you can hold to your convictions while establishing said track record, all the better. But don't lose sight of the goal. I won't. Now it's my turn to fulfill my promise. I do so appreciate it. More to the point, where exactly did you run off to anyway? Grassley's offices. Huh? Yes, in fact, they were quite eager to chat. And I could hardly turn down their invitation. <sighs> Dr. Winston, any progress? I beg your pardon, but I need a bit more time to adjust the programming. Applying parallel distribution is your specialty. We'll continue to put our trust in you. What is the mobile suit in this file? I can't make sense of it. Everything is spelled out in the spec sheet. Essentially, it's a mobile suit that operates as a gun bit and expands Ariel's data storm network. It's called a gun node. Partnership? Yes, to incorporate Shinsei's Gundam technology into the group's core business. But Grassley has been one of the staunchest voices against Gundams. For now, we have to restore our credibility. We can't afford to be too picky about the means. What about the Gundam types used in the open campus incident? I hear you weren't able to recover them somehow. Correct. Those machines were equipped with self-destruct protocols. Unfortunately. So they weren't functioning. But even a wrecked Gundam could have been useful to your company's endeavors. Don't you agree? Or would salvaging them entail some risk I haven't accounted for? Shadik! Amiorine! And you look like a new man, Guel. Save it, Shadik. Miorine never agreed to let you meet with her subsidiary. What are you trying to do? Canvassing. I'm seeking support for my presidency campaign. And you're standing for election, too? Well, I'd planned on marrying into the leadership, but that didn't pan out. Speaking of which, while you were cementing your engagement, I was off locking down pale support. Uh, what? The three branches hold the most power in the group. And right now, I've got two. The election's in two weeks. Best of luck to you. I've checked the temperature and adjusted the sunlight patterns. Oh, wait, the fertilizer! That could have been bad. Suleta. Chuchu? You gotta be pissed, right? About Miorine? Trying to take her dad's spot after she talks so much crap? Putting you through all those duels just to turn around and run off with that Jutter goof? Real turd behavior. Miss Miorine did nothing wrong. Huh? How do you figure? It's my own fault. I made her a promise, and I couldn't keep it. I should have realized from the start that I would never be able to keep up with someone like her. How long are you planning to hang around here? And now you creeps! Both Miorine's hand and the title of Holder now belong to my brother. What reason do you have to stay, empty Mercurian wench? You don't talk to her like that! I'm not fighting you. Then get lost! Chuaturi Pong Lunch. You saved my life in the rumble ring. Thank you. Thank you for real. What does that have to do with anything, damn it? Miss 
Sister Lauda is right. I never had anything to offer her, but I still called myself the Holder and her groom. It was all a mistake. Why did it take me so long to realize it? That is such bullcrap! <laughs> Honestly, you don't need... <laughs> Let's go! We're paying her a visit. To the head office? To meet with Miorini. Hold down the fort, okay? Don't forget to feed the animals. Well, wait a sec. Is everyone going? Someone has to pilot the ship. You should stay. You've got a head injury. And we need you here, in case they try to vandalize us again. Gives us something to do besides dwell on all this, right? Miss Choo Choo, really? Don't worry about me. I've already accepted that Miss Miorine is- Shut up! Yeah. Seriously! You're not helping anyone by pretending everything is still cool! Huh? You're gonna tell Miorini exactly what you're feeling! We're not coming back until you do! Okay. Nice! That settles that, uh, then. Let's go, uh, ma'am! Or just call her. This is new for you, Choo Choo. Huh? It really seems like you're dead set on talking everything out, without any punching, either. I guess I figured I should try and play it like Nika would. When those Jeddar punks showed up to thank me earlier, something just clicked. I feel like I understand her now. But anyway, we're leaving. Watch out for the bullies. Don't be a hero, okay? What are you drawing over there? Nothing I feel like telling you about. Look, I promise I don't pose any threat to you. Yeah, I figured out that Grassley and Donna Fold were working together. That doesn't mean I planned on telling anyone. I know how I come off, but I can keep a secret. Excuse huh? me, aren't you... Elian Karras? So why does it feel like you're a... A different person? <gasps> In fact, I'm not the Ellen Karras you know. And why didn't you nominate me to run for president of the group? The Pale Great has rendered its judgment. It told us your time to take the stage has not yet come. Evaluation system? It's a proprietary AI that Pale created to select the company's top-level personnel. And its highest-rated candidate to take the helm was the original Master Ellen Karras. Until Delling's little bride-chasing sideshow turned the group's internal politics on its head, and he needed a backup who could pilot a mobile suit in his place. So Pale sent in body doubles to fight duels? That's part of it. But we had another purpose, to serve as lab rats for Gundam technology testing. <laughs> They implanted us with parts that can resist status storms. So we're enhanced persons now. Gundams still kill us, but it takes longer. You mean piloting the Ferract? Bingo. <gasps> piloting a Gundam means death. The only exceptions are that Mercurian girl and her Ariel. So, like, what the hell is that about? You're never gonna stop talking, are you? Not much point in keeping secrets anymore. What's your story? You pilot a Gundam. Do you have a reason to embrace death? Nope. Liar. I answered your question. I get it. You're empty on the inside, so you pretend you're sacrificing yourself for the Earthians. I'm gonna kill every last one of you spatian scum! So how's that for a reason, you smug bastard? You don't actually want to be a Gundam pilot, do you? Shut up! We're both disposable. Can we at least be real with each other? All of these? Are you sure? Yes. Start due diligence for every facility on that list. But is it wise to let them go so cheaply? My father's life matters more than our balance sheet. The Earth-based companies take priority. Asset transfers are underway. No issues. And it doesn't seem like anyone in the company suspects anything. I'll report to the Space Assembly League. Right now, he's crushing us. It appears he's already gained considerable support throughout the group. It's no surprise that Shadik's been making moves. But I didn't think he'd team up with Pale. Hopefully this will offer you a bit of insight. What initially appeared to be spontaneous demonstrations have since evolved into attacks on veteran group facilities by armed Earthian factions. The use of heavy weapons has been confirmed. With Riots on Earth. The they began as peaceful protests against the group's lack of corporate governance. The group responded with heavy-handed suppressive actions passed off as criminal investigations. Which only made things worse. 
More violence won't solve this. I agree. So maybe we need to solve it ourselves. But how? We'll speak directly to the protesters. Talking them down would make for a good track record. You want to go to Earth yourself? I always did. These are armed groups in an active conflict. And unless you have force to back up your words, they'll have no reason to come to the table. Then... We can use Ariel. Please elaborate. We go in unarmed and follow Astacasia's school regulations. I won't let this turn into another plant quetta. That's how we demonstrate the concept behind our company. Gundarm Inc. will negotiate for peace and show what the Benerit group could become. Under my leadership, a force that saves lives without violence. No, going to Earth? Their goal is to bring the Quinn Harbor riots to an end. Mr. Goel is awesome. I'm glad he's back. He re-enrolls, goes straight for the holder, and wins! And now I hear he's heading to Earth. Honestly, he should have been the leader from the beginning. You guys just got it, you know? Yeah, and you're definitely not one of them. Dude, shut up! <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, I'm trying to get to my drop-off spot. Could you point me in the right direction? Where is it? I appreciate it. Hangar 78. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say... Coincidentally, it's the same hangar number your Shinsei colleagues always ask for at Plant Coetta. <laughs> Doctor, if you've got a moment, could we have a chat? I found out one of my friends was committing a crime, so I reported them. I'm the head of Earth House. I just... I was trying to look out for the rest of my friends. That's my job! I did the right thing! I did, didn't I? <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh dear. Looks like someone's a dirty little rat. And I suppose this is what happens when I tell you to follow your heart. Yeah, exactly. That a problem? <sighs> well, I can't stop you. But I'd like to send a security detail with you. Commander of Dominicus, Kananji Avery reporting. Commander Kananji? Yes, sir. Problem? Uh, not at all. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure's mine. But goodness, that stone-faced old man is really your father? <laughs> Just said we're here to see Miorine Rembrandt. Did you call to schedule an appointment? Why do we need an appointment to talk to our friend from school? It couldn't hurt to put in an application, though. Suleta came here? How should we proceed? Go get her, girl! Isn't it weird that she needs a normal suit? Maybe. Miss Miorine wanted to meet in here? Ariel! Why are you here? Can I come inside? I'd seen all of you for the last time. Miss Miorine told me that she didn't need me anymore. No, it, it was my own fault. I couldn't keep the promise I made to her. I've moved forward, like Mom always says. But where do I go now? I'm not the holder, so I don't have to keep taking duels. I have more time for studying. I get to chat over lunch with all my friends. But still, Miss Miorine isn't there. And I want to see her so badly. If you move forward, you gain too. But it doesn't feel that way.
day of Mercurian year 154. The game we play today is called Digging King, and I won with a score of 6 to 4. You started crying and asking for a rematch. Mom gave you hot cocoa and a honey-flavored candy drop to calm you down. Ariel? The solar storms had caused my heating unit to malfunction, so you held your half-empty cocoa mug up to my cockpit. You said the heat from your mug would help warm me up. That's you, right, Ariel? Why do you look so much the like- The door has opened! And now we don't need the key anymore. What's the... key? The key! That means you, Saletta! Ari can only live inside the data storm now, so you filled in for her. You filled in for her physical form. But Ari's body, her arms and legs, her extended consciousness, that's what we are to her, the children of the coven. What are you saying? I filled in? You were a replica child created from my genetic code, Suleta. Just like the rest of our sisters. <gasps> Mom did it 17 years ago. You remember it, right? But everything is okay now. Thanks to Quiet Zero, we'll have a world where Aerie can live. So we don't need you anymore, Suleta. <gasps> no, you're wrong. That isn't true. I've always... choosing to travel with trans earth lines this flight will be departing shortly from low earth orbit but please be aware that atmospheric conditions may lead to extreme turbulence in such an event we ask that you remain calm and follow the instructions of the crew traffic control reports no dangerous orbital debris conditions are looking good and we expect to touch down in two hours and 20 minutes we're so close to earth after all this time you made it you must be happy. I can enjoy the moment later. Well, I for one can't stand being on Earth. I'm a big guy, see? The gravity on Earth is really uncomfortable. You know what I mean? All right, got time for one more round before we land? I don't know about that guy. Are you okay coming back here so soon after what happened? I've had a taste of the situation here, but I still need to see more with my own eyes. 
It's like you're a completely different person. Plus, I can't trust you to handle the negotiations alone. Huh? Pardon? Don't even go there. I verified the coordinates. I'm sending them over now. I'm grateful that you have so many friends. One more thing. Looks like the Assembly League may have noticed something. It's about time. Proceed with preparations. Consider it done. Still no luck, Lilik? She says she has no appetite. I thought she made up with me Orde already. What happened? She's been skipping all her classes, too. My guess is that they're over. Damn it! Why'd he turn out this way? The stables still haven't been cleaned. Where's Marton? Make sure it's even or I'll expose you. But I didn't actually do anything wrong. Sure, tell that to the girl you turned in. What was her name again? Uh... LM236. Nika Nanaura. Right, who knows what she'd do? Maybe you should be sleeping with one eye open. The thought of you two going after each other's throats? Ugh, I can't stop laughing! Shut up! What do you know? Huh? People at the top of the heap like you could never understand! I couldn't just keep letting Earth House's position get worse! As the leader of the house, I... You had to cut out the person who was bringing you down. <laughs> but it means you gave up on her and left her out to dry. That's why you can't tell your little friends. Am I wrong? No, you're right. I should have trusted Nika and talked it out. I failed as house leader. But even so, I... I truly believed in that moment it was the only way to protect everybody from harm, so I... Then tell them that, you idiot. Why do you people insist on being so stubborn? Gets annoying, you know. <laughs> to all passengers from outside the Earth Sphere, per the Earth Sphere Biological Protection Act, we ask that you please proceed to the inspection area for a biosecurity check. If you are carrying any organisms or items on the biological protection list, Please notify the relevant staff member. Can someone explain why we have a mobile suit escort? We're trying to come to a peaceful solution. Don't tell me you really think these people will play nice and cooperate. I'm not so naive. Sorry to keep you waiting. Even without any weapons installed, that thing sends a chill down my spine. Miss Rembrandt is now on Earth. The negotiations should be starting soon. If they crush the Earthians with their Gundam, it could garner support. Are you okay with that? That won't happen. Miorine would never allow it. What's this about? I thought we could enjoy a little girl's night out. I'm just an engineer, you know. I don't have any information your bosses at the League would want. Sorry. Oh, don't worry about that. As we speak, the High Council is planning on sanctioning the Benerit group. At worst, it could result in a clash. But hopefully it won't come to that. We'd really prefer to find a way for both sides to work together. If the group loses its position, you'll be scapegoated for breaking the Cathedra Agreement. <laughs> Dr. Winston, you have to think about yourself. It's not too late. So please, tell me everything you know. <clears throat> I have nothing to do with this. <clears throat> That's too bad. I really wanted a girl's night out. Space is so hard! You're trying to rip us off even more! Let our comrades go! Oh! Hey, who the hell leaked the meeting place? No idea, sir. I recommend we regroup, Madam President. Look, not one of them is armed. They just want to make sure that their concerns are heard. Hey, give me something! Hey! Back off! Let me go! I didn't do anything! Only authorized personnel are allowed. Young Mr. President, we can't stop here. Say that? Shut up and get lost, kid. Mioi, can you handle this on your own? What are you talking about? Obviously. I have to go somewhere. I'll be back later. D huh? Uh, young Mr. President! Damn it! Keep the Madam President safe! Uh, this way. Right.
Greetings, everyone. I'm Miorine Rembran. It's nice to meet you. I hope that we can all speak on equal terms. Equal, eh? Come this way. The Benaric Group intends to build a new development facility. Our plan is to break ground near the reconstruction district in the southeast of Quinn Harbor. Once done, by our estimations, local employment should rise by 30... 1,529. That's the number of Earthians who are missing or dead after the Plant Coetta incident. All in the name of your hunt for the perpetrators. There are many reports of people being detained without charges. Not only that, some of them were even tortured. We never authorized those kinds of measures. You just weren't informed. Permit monopolization? The proxy wars you force onto us through war partitioning? Those are already unbearable. But if you continue to make Earthians suffer by flagrantly ignoring the law, we have no choice but to do the same. All Spatians must leave. Earth belongs to us. There's no room for any more discussion. What's the Gundam doing here? I don't know why either, sir. Apparently it's some kind of joint venture with Gundam Inc. Huh? Joint venture? students at the Ostacasia School of Technology. Expanding your business, huh? The arms dealers are going into medical tech. Before our break, you said you want all Spatians off Earth. Correct. In practice, that means all Earthians leaving space. I suppose. Then I have to turn you down flat. What now? My Earthian colleagues are valuable partners. Losing them would mean abandoning my mission. I won't claim that I understand the rage you all feel as residents of Earth. You know the challenges you face better than I do. But even so, I came here seeking a dialogue. Please give me a chance. Your good intentions only count for so much. You don't call the shots. Then would my intentions count for more if I became president of the group? Is that your goal? Not my goal, but the only way to achieve it. We can't negotiate with you at present. Ten days. That's long enough for the election to shake out. Until then, we'll suspend all protest activity. Are you sure? We can leave the deal making to the politicians. What's more? If we're here and there's no negotiating to be done, I can speak with you as a doctor. Thank you very much.
<laughs> That's fine. For breakfast, we made some soup with Tico's milk. We dug into the freezer a little bit. Gotta use the stuff that started thawing out. Cause you forgot to flip the switch when we left. <laughs> Which means we had to make a big fancy breakfast. And we thought it would be nice to eat it out here. With all the light. Try it. selective about who they accept. One of their major initiatives is taking in Earthian kids orphaned by war partitioning and training them up. Shadik Zanelli got his start there, as did the other five pilots in Grassley House. But they'll listen to you, won't they? Maybe an academy graduate could help you. I'm not involved with Grassley. That's so lame. If you can't help me be like the prince, then what good are you? The prince? He's a graduate of that Grassley thing, but now he uses what they taught him there to help us Earthians out. And that's awesome. Sophie and Noria can keep their mobile suits, because what I really want to do is... Oh, God! Let him go! This prince, who exactly told you about him? What? The adults talked about him! It's not like it's a secret! Mr. Kananji, please! That's Shadik Zanelli's nickname. <laughs> he was born Yeru Ogul. He took on a new name when he was adopted. But his remarkable talent and auspicious birth name led his classmates at the academy to call him the prince. You said it yourself. It's not like it's a secret. I would consider it a tiny piece of irrelevant trivia. What's strange is that we're hearing it from an Earthian child who is living with the dawn of full. <laughs> Just a moment, please. Hi, Goel. Care to tell me where you are? It's Shadik! Uh, the open campus, Tankuena. Shadik was the one pulling all the strings. We need to arrest him and make him talk. Calm down. What's your evidence? <laughs> Without that, we can't touch him. Listen, go back to Ostacasia. Back to school? If you're right, he'll be hiding President Sarius nearby. Most likely, he's got him somewhere he knows nobody will come looking for him. Grassley House. Heading home already? Yes, there was an unforeseen change of plans. Sadly, we'll have to take our leave. I understand. Be safe. Let us begin. Huh? Hey, hold on a sec! What are you doing? I have 
Commissioner, any orders? Nothing. That wasn't me. Do you copy Garrison Command? The demonstrators have just opened fire. We came here unarmed. We're evacuating. Wait! You can't leave the post! President Niorine is visiting Earth right now, isn't she? Why go to Quinn Harbor? What do you mean? Did the two of them really go there solely to negotiate in person? Just like I said it would. So, what happens now? I called for a ship in suits, and Sabina's team is on the way. Prospera Mercury really was on to us. Go well. You did this. Anti -space you defiled her. Quick to There's no way. What the hell are you doing, Miorne? The leader of the Earth Independence Which means his organization you won't be able to keep clinging to me like before. Or to mom. Those days are over. I think I understand. Suleta? Ariel was just like you, Mr. Marta. Huh? She must have realized that mom was planning to do this. So she helped me the only way she could. Even if it wasn't the best way. I didn't understand anything. This is because of me. All of it is my fault. The fighting continues to escalate as Benarit Group mobile suits have opened fire on the housing complexes in the eastern half of the city. Civilians Spatial have been advised to the nearest All they do is take! This is because of me. All of it is my fault. Hurry, damn it! It's Sonic! We'll stop him. We have to. Calm down! <laughs> Remember. 
remember what President Miorine said. Without President Saurius, we can't prove Shadik was responsible, and he'll find a way to get out of this. As soon as we can secure that evidence, we'll have him dead to rights. Don't get ahead of yourself and blow our chance! <laughs> Shadik, I'll never be able to forgive you for this. And now, contact the Space Assembly League. It's time to move my father. Roger that. See, I told you we should have made the first move back there. Renee, don't lose sight of our objective. They almost didn't figure it out. Gotta hand it to Miss Miorine. No, this wasn't Miorine. Shadik, are you upset? Duel. I know you're out there. Exactly, is the aerial doing on the Earth anyway? More specifically, who's piloting it? Based on the image data, it looks like the gun bits have taken control of the machines around it, but the aerial's gun bits have Look, speed. Don't ask me. We're just as surprised as you are. Why bother coming here if you don't have anything good to tell us? I wanted to say I was able to patch things up with everybody. You haven't answered me yet. <laughs> I'm scared to ask how many complaints there are. I've totally lost count. Our mobile suit is causing harm after we claim to be a medical company. I don't blame them. You can't reply to comments that you can't see. That's the president's job. I couldn't care less. Whoa, even Lalik is mad. So then, what next? Well, he could be good and go to class. At least she did. It is an unfortunate truth that the concern for pilot life support was not considered to be a high priority during the early years of space development. According to many historians, humanity's advancements into space were initially quite abrupt and short-sighted. The end result was a substantial loss of life. I don't remember going over that today. Why bother coming to class and then not listening? There's no point. To be honest, I didn't know what else to do. You can use my notes. During the rumble ring, if you hadn't been there to protect him, there's a chance Mr. Loudon might have died. And if that happened, I don't know what I would have done. You and Mr. Lada, are you in love? Uh, you can't just say that! No wonder people don't like you! Brother, Lauda, where's the Darrow Bolt? It's right here. But why did you need me to bring a mobile suit off campus? Also, I saw the other one at the company. Uh. <laughs> Permit ID codes detected. Five mobile suits, all belonging to Grant. I'm surprised to see Confedra here. Since when do you have business with our school? I know it's unexpected, but we've received certain information. If you'd be able to assist us, we'll need to enter the campus. We'd be happy to look into it for you. Just give us the details. Why is Shadi behaving like this? Brother! Shadi! Tell us where you're hiding President Sarius! Didn't you ever learn to secure your target before making a move? You've always been so impatient. That's what you're doing! Stay back or I'll open fire! This is all your fault! You started this! Oh, you remove the regulation program? Ugh, damn it! At least the plan worked. Move out! Copy that! We can't allow you to do this. Students, please remain where you are. Those tremors. Is that a mobile suit? It's open. <laughs> that 
Elliot. Sorn! Noria! You don't have to do this. Why would you get inside a Gundam again? It's none of your damn business. If you're afraid of dying, you can just leave. Then what? What else do you think I have left? Because of you suspicions, everyone I ever cared about is dead! Not she didn't get it. We're all caught. It's not like you could understand either. What it feels like to be compared with suspicions! And no more lives are cheaper! Right! Everyone's counting on me now. Melcy Rollo! 
can't bring myself to forgive you. But still, I won't let you die. The Benric group decided that to maintain order, it would sacrifice the lives of Spatians at the school. <laughs> the Assembly League would never interfere on behalf of Earthians. Maybe this will get through to them. <laughs> My poor foolish son. This whole thing feels like a bad dream, but it's real, all of it. Tico? Mr. Letta! Thank goodness, you're all right. Miss Letta, I have to... I'm sorry. Could you help me with this? I think there are people stuck inside. There's so many of them. Keep digging. Maybe there's some we can save. Let's do it, everyone! I bet I can manage to find a working mobile craft. And we'll need plenty of first aid, too! Let's split up and get to work, guys! 
of that machine. We've confirmed it's one of the Gundams from the Dawn of Fold incidents, though I wasn't able to find anything that would allow us to ID the pilot. So Shadik Zanelli was hiding them under our noses all along. That's a black eye for us. And a big opening for the League. They'll be making their move. <sighs> what a fiasco. Where is she? Is Miorne back? She is, but as of yet, she hasn't reported in. what happened at Quinn Harbor. How did I let it get so wrong? The whole town was destroyed, and all those people... Just take a breath. This is an argument. Yes. <laughs> what happened on Earth? And at school? Everything? Right now, Rajan's talking it out with the board. We'll have to steer the group through the aftermath. Also... We have Shadik in custody. So you're going to be president? My condolences. And will that be all you have to say? How are Sabina and the girls? Not a scratch. They're fine. <laughs> I was the one who planned this. I'd like you to go easy on them. Earth and space as equals. It's such a dazzling ideal. A dream that could drive you. To do something awful. Well, in the end, it has to be done. If we can make it happen, there won't be more people like us. When did you involve the Assembly League? We'd been in contact for a while, but things changed and I had to cross the line. You're a fool. Do you think I'm despicable for resorting to this? I don't. Or if you are, then I'm no better. This stuff sucks. Isn't there any real food around? I would be surprised if there was. I'm sick of eating Nutri-Goop. Try these. Hmm? What the heck? They're tomatoes. Yeah, I think we got that part, but... Trust me. Just take a bite and you'll see. I promise. <sighs> That's so good. Huh? Really? Oh. Right? <laughs> I should have listened to my mom. I should have left after open campus. Here. Uh, thanks. Don't thank me. It was Siletta's idea. <laughs> hey, Siletta. Yes? Where were those? The greenhouse was crushed. Well, about that. I was keeping the ones we hadn't eaten in the fridge. Oh, good thinking. Actually, that's kind of a lot. So what should we do with them? We still don't have stable power. What if we pass them all out? Sounds good. Let's do it. Shouldn't we ask Miorine first? 
I think it's fine. She'd just say, why would you ask me that? Get it done. <laughs> That's exactly what she'd say. <sighs> Good thing we had these carts sitting around. Now let's get everything over to the tents. And the rest of us can start handing stuff out. I'll help. Nika! <laughs> I was hoping we could talk before we get too busy with passing out supplies and all. So... Uh... Me too. Once the recovery work is done, I'm dropping out. <gasps> oh, don't worry. I still plan to finish school. But I have to turn myself in and make amends. And then, I can get accepted somewhere on my own merit. I came here with a dream of bridging Earth and space. I'm not giving up on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I never wanted to punish you for what you did. I just didn't know what to do. If I'd been alone, I would have given up. But I had you and Earth House. I found a reason to keep going. Thank you, Martin. Remember, next time you need help, you can tell your head of house. I will. Take one. Thank you very much, LP041, Suleta Mercury. <laughs> I guess everyone's got their tomatoes. Good job, team. Suleta. Miss mm -hmm. Belmeria, and... Are you the daughter of Prospera Mercury? Yeah? I'm Guston Pars, Space Assembly League. Glad to see you're all right. Assembly? What? They help mediate disputes between the fronts as a neutral party. So what's some paper pusher want with us? We have something important to ask of you. The group's internal disputes have twice spilled over into the armed conflict at their school. Their political intrigue has placed innocent students in mortal peril and led to the kidnapping of Sarius and Ellie. When anti-spatian demonstrations erupted on Earth, they were violently suppressed by group security forces. This resulted in massive loss of life. Furthermore, we've learned that the group has been covertly developing a weapon of mass destruction known as Quiet Zero. In light of all this, we can only conclude that the Benaric group is now the foremost threat to peace among the fronts. Our thanks to Pell Technologies for stepping forward with these difficult truths. The Space Assembly League is tasked with safeguarding the peace and prosperity under threat. And therefore, we propose an armed intervention to execute the immediate disarmament and ultimate dissolution of the Benaric group. Then by unanimous consent, under the authority of Article 7 of the League Charter, the intervention by force against the Benaric group is hereby approved. According to their joint statement, the League will act to resolve the unrest within the Benaric. Pale burned us. They picked now to jump ship. Have you still not tracked down Prospera Mercury? We've looked through all of Shinsei's terminals. But they knew we were coming and wiped all the data relating to Quiet Zero. What about the Mobile Suit Development Council and Cathedra? They're backing the Assembly League. <coughs> President Sarius is on the line. Mr. President, I'm glad to see you're alive and well. Never mind the pleasantries. We need to sort out this matter with the Assembly League. Yes, it's a frustrating situation. Cathedra can't keep them at bay any longer. This isn't what you want to hear, but now is the time to take a cue from Delling. You need to cut ties with me and Grassley. <laughs> what? Have us take the fall for the entire incident. Sacrifice us for the good of the group. But if I do that... As president, your duty is to protect the group's existence. Muriel <sighs> Rembrandt. I can't. I won't sacrifice anyone else. Now. Or ever. What is Quiet Zero? A super weapon. It uses Ariel and a complement of unmanned suits functioning as gun bits to create a huge data storm network. In theory, it could assume control of any permit-based systems in range. Data storm network? But isn't everything a permit-based system? At least, everything that keeps the fronts working. 
Wait, so this quiet zero deal could take control of all the fronts? That's exactly what Prospera Mercury means to do. She's trying to establish a giant data storm network within the Earth's sphere. If she's able to hijack control of the fronts, there could be untold loss of life. Mm. We must stop her before the conflict breaks out between the group and the League. And we need your help to do it. If you were going to ask me to negotiate... Sorry, but I don't think it'll work. Surely she'd listen to you. You're her daughter! She's my mom, but I'm not her real daughter. <gasps> Hold on, what are you saying? So you're adopted? Um, well, no. I guess I'm technically, genetically her daughter? Suleta. No, it's okay. I want my friends to hear this. They should know about me and Mom... and Ariel. The only one my mom sees as her real daughter is Ariel. That is, Eric. Oh, right. Eric is kind of like my big sister? Basically, Mom created me using her genetic material. I think the word she used was child. It all started before I was born. Mom was researching the gun format. Until... she had to take Eric and flee to Mercury. They escaped the Vonidus incident 21 years ago. But Eric's body was too weak to survive the trip. The only way Mom could save her was by using gun technology to transfer her biometric data into Ariel. In other words, she turned Ariel into Eric's body. And since she did that, Eric's consciousness can only exist in that data storm thing. My mom's real goal is to create a space where she can live. They told me I was only a key to unlock the door to that space. I loved my mom more than anything in this world. I still do. She's the reason I was able to go to school and meet all of you. But I know that there's only one thing she really cares about, and that's Eric. So whatever I say to her now, I don't think it's going to get through. There's not much I can do. Sorry. What if negotiating wasn't the only option? The Assembly League kept a certain machine they confiscated in the Vonidus incident. An earlier Gundam model that was nicknamed the Monster. And now, we may need you to pilot that Gundam. The Collyborn? You can't do that! That thing's a death trap! The pilot has zero protection from the data storm! When Suleta uses it, she'll- If Prospera can't be persuaded, then we won't have any other choice. This was the best you could do. Uh, Mika. I already heard about all those pilots whose lives you threw away when you were working on Pale's Gundam experiments. Like Ella and Karis. Now you're trying to do that to Suleta too? I'm not. I swear I wasn't- Then why are you here? I don't know. I'm ashamed. To ask any of you for help. For 21 years now. I've wondered why I didn't die with the others. I still don't know. <laughs> but somehow... <laughs> Forgive me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> How selfish can you be? Suleta, you can't pilot that thing. Why didn't I realize it until now? The reason I never suffered from the Gundam's curse is that Eric was taking it on in my place. Isn't it? Uh, Eric is the only one who's ever fully synchronized with the data storm. Which is why it's never affected you. I see. I want to talk to Eric. And to my mom one more time. Suleta! Wait a minute! You're really going through with it after all that?! She just said this Gundam could kill you! Your sister won't be there to protect you this time! When I was handing out the tomatoes, I thought... Even if I don't gain anything, I still have to do what I can. So 
let me help. Please take me to the Gundam. Quiet Zero have established interconnection. Are you ready to begin, Madam President? I am. Let's go. Attention all ships! Go to level four alert! We're entering the fleet's combined search area! Sensors are picking up multiple permit ID codes near the Lagrange 2 satellite cloud, sir. Are they Binneret group vessels? Negative, sir. There's something bigger. Is that? Could it be Quiet Zero itself? Order, sir. We'll stick to the plan and capture it. This is the evidence we need against the Binnerit group. Fleet scale permit ID codes detected. All vessels belong to the Assembly League fleet. Ari, please. Objects deployed from Quiet Zero. They appear to be mobile suits. Cargors launch and intercept. Assembly League vessel and mobile suit systems complete. Beautifully done. Thank you, Harry. It's finally here. The world I'm creating for you. We can approach through the head office front. Hold it, old man. We've got no reason to stay here. If Sulet is leaving, then so are the rest of us. Old man. Miss Choo Choo, didn't you just say... And I still don't want you to do it. But even if we can't stop you from going, we're not gonna let you go alone. She's right. I'm going with you. I won't abandon my housemates. That's sweet. I'll be joining you as well. Mr. Alan? Where did you come from? What are you doing here? The place is locked down tight. I'd never make it out alone. There's somewhere I'd like to go. I'll help out with your plan if you promise not to chase me. And to be clear, I'm not piloting a Gundam. 
Doesn't he seem different? <gasps> it was wrong of me to treat you like I did. Please forgive me. Will you tell me everything? About the Mr. Elian who came before you? As much as I know myself. Thank you very much. <sighs> this blows, man. I hate being an adult. It's your fault. Petra. The school. The way my brother changed. Miorine. reporting. Designation systems via permit links are all coming in green. Commencing the attack. We're detecting a massive Lawrence force. Trajectory is unconfirmed. Switch to guided missiles. second fleet, and a third of the ships from the third fleet are inoperable. Then we must retreat. It'll take some time before we'll be able to bring the permanent reactor back up. Thank you, Ari. Yoene, it's me. I'll come back later. You want to know if you can borrow the demi-barding again? Please! I'm begging you! Go ahead. Really? I don't care. But if you break it, you buy uh, it. What? We could never afford to pay that! We're doing this for Zuleta! Don't wuss out! Just one condition. You have to take Roji with you. Huh? I have some questions about this. Here, this should cover the daily animal care. Uh... All this in one day? I've seen mobile craft manuals shorter than this list. Interesting. Please! Please take me with you! Why don't you have your buddies from Jeddurk take you instead? I tried asking Mr. Guell, but he said he wanted me to stay here. Well, you guys can't expect me to sit around and do nothing! Looks like things are lightening up around here. You really think she's gonna pilot it? This so-called monster Gundam? I don't know. I know she wants to help her family. But I have a bad feeling about it. That's why we can't just let her do it alone. Yeah. Where is she, anyway? As an enhanced person, I'm not much more than an expendable... And I'll be ready. The Assembly League fleet's second wave of attacks were unsuccessful. 
Though it's not clear why, at the moment, Quiet Zero also appears to be inactive. We've done what we can to buy more time, but... Do you know if President Miorine has left her room? <sighs> not yet. What is it? We have a message from a League inspector. They're requesting a meeting. The Assembly League? Additionally, there's a student from Ostacasia who wishes to speak with President Miorine. The option unit is on its way, courtesy of Burian. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. We're almost ready. We need to test the Kalibarn ASAP. Try not to be gone for too long. Right. Suleta Mercury. Huh? Uh, Mr. Guo? No, hi, Mr. Guo! Come with me. Miorine's still my fiance. Did you think I'd let you see her so easily? I know. I promise I won't be long. I just want to talk, heart to heart. In that case, what would you say to a duel? <sighs> if you lose, you'll give up on Miorine. Agree? I agree. Then let's... duel. Whoever lands the first hit is the winner, okay? All right. Victory is never determined by one's social standing alone. Nor by an individual skill alone. The result itself? Is the only truth. Fix release! you the winner. Follow me. Thank you very much. I'm an idiot. Oh well. Miss Miorine, it's Suleta. Sorry if I'm bothering you. I'm going to stop Quiet Zero. <gasps> my hope is that I can talk to Eric and maybe my mom one more time, and then I can ask them to stop. The problem is, I've spent all this time relying on both of them for everything. So making a choice like this now, it's pretty scary. I can't. Miss Miorini? I can't give you a pretty speech that'll make you feel better. You're gonna have to make this decision on your own. I'm the reason so many people have been hurt and killed. I was trying so hard to get you away from your mom. But all of it... It was a mistake. I understand. I feel the same way. I've killed people. At Plant Cueta, and then Miss Sophie. I told myself I was doing it to protect my friends, that it was the right thing to do. But after the school got attacked and we were all working so hard to save everyone once the fighting stopped, I realized something. It doesn't matter if any of it was right or wrong. The things I've done, I can't take them back. So even if there's nothing for me to gain, I have to move forward. I'm just so scared of making another mistake. The only reason I've made it this far is because I met you, Miss Miorine. I'm sure that part wasn't a mistake. I'll do it. I'll 
open it myself. The D-Index is over 90. Recovery complete. All systems reactivated. Next stop, Plant Coetta. Everyone, I'm sorry. Whatever, we didn't come here for you. Go on. Your dad? They said he woke up, right? <laughs> It's still early, so it will be difficult for him to speak for a while. Hey, Dad. I'm not running. From the company, or from the Gundam's curse. That's why. I refuse to allow you to give up and die either, you jerk! got here before we did. Well then, we'll have to alter the plan a bit. It's time to visit Delling Rembrandt. Currently, Quiet Zero's data storm deployment level is only at about 60%. To reach full capacity, Prospera will have to return to Plant Coetta to recover the remaining units. And then, if Quiet Zero can be fully completed... It will deploy a data storm that's capable of covering the entire Earth's sphere. Right? We've already got a fleet stationed in defensive positions around the head office front, but... The only machines that can move around inside of a data storm are Gundams. You've got to be kidding me. At score 8, anyone would die instantly. On top of that, the Fair Act was never designed to be able to withstand such a high score load. What if we use the Schwartzen and just rewrote its specifications? Not enough time. I'm sorry. There's another possibility to consider. The Demi Barding's option unit has a switchable cockpit space. If you added a control system that doesn't use permit links... Then there wouldn't be any way to override it. That's like trying to drive while blindfolded. It'll never work. I don't think we can afford to be picky right now. Do we have an NTPS? Well, we had one prepared, but... You can't be serious. I am. We'll be going directly into Quiet Zero. I have a few ideas about the codes we can use to shut it down. I'll take care of the Assembly League. Hopefully we can prevent them from interfering. Suleta, you'll need to keep Ariel and the gun notes busy. Can you do that? Yes. Are we sure about this? Mr. Guel? If she operates that Gundam... I made the decision myself. <laughs> Listen up. Should the situation become hopeless, we'll hand over the units immediately. At the end of the day, you're still students. We have to take responsibility as the adults. Thank you, sir. Emergency evacuation orders from Lagrange 4 are now in effect for all veteran group employees. Please head to your designated evacuation stations immediately. You look different. Courtesy of Miss Mercurian. Look, Shanik. Both of us have made terrible mistakes. But it's not over. And we need to try to make up for it. You think that's possible? Even if it isn't, I've decided I'm moving forward. 
Which is why I want to make a trade with you. A trade? I promise that you won't regret it. You can put your trust in me. <laughs> to perform the switching test at any time. That's perfect. Thanks, Roji. Uh, no problem. Choo-choo, time for the final adjustments. You got it, Mika. I'm amazed you were able to track down an old museum piece like this. Well, for what it's worth, there are some benefits to spending your whole life working on junk. Are you really sure you want to go with them? I can't let Nika and Choo-Choo go out by them. Uh, here, take some motion sickness pills. <laughs> A tomato? You brought one with you? <laughs> NR-400. Anistora. Uh, that's... It's an old Greek word that means she who sends gifts from the Earth. Uh, it was Mr. Roji's idea to look it up. And that was part of what he found inside of the genetic code. There were words? Yeah. I bet that your mom was the one who embedded them in there for you. to reduce the feedback from the data storm. However, the trade-off is that it can create and maintain a higher score with the same amount of permit. Genetically, your body is nearly identical to Eric's. You should have strong resistance. The major difference here is that you won't be able to coexist with the data storm. Promise me you won't push it too far. I appreciate it, Miss Belmeria. <sighs> Thanks for letting me make my own choice. Please begin. Commence calling. Roger. Commencing call. Raising score. Internal permit influx values plus five points. Calling. have been detected. Reactivation of permit reactor confirmed. The group is making its move. Miorine Rembrandt's first major undertaking. Let's see what she can do. Permit pattern detected. An object has penetrated the boundary surface of the data storm space.
only place we can survive is here, inside the data store. Please, Solana. Give up now. No! I won't look the other way, even for you! I can't! to the Benerit group. Communication signal detected. It's unescorted? Put it through. Inspector Gustav Posh, Space Assembly League. I need to speak with HQ. This situation is above your pay grade. The inspector is making this call on my behalf. <sighs> That's Delling Rembrandt. As League members, and in accordance with the League Charter, we request that an emergency session be convened without delay. You want to call a special session? Summon representatives from all member firms. This is concerning the intervention against our group and the justification for it. <clears throat> Easy. Thank you, Mr. President. Oh, <laughs> 
just stopped? What could have caused that? Shoot you, Nika! Yeah, got it! But why? Why did you interfere? This data storm can make all our wishes come true! What happened? Data interference is occurring. The data storm's information density is degrading. You're leaving? We have a rat problem. Captain, headquarters is calling. We have them on a secure line. There is an interplanetary laser power transmission system in place at Lagrange 1. We'd like you to test it for us. What about the special session that Delling requested? The Assembly League has received no such request. Now, of course, a laser this powerful needs a matching receiver to transform it back into usable energy. So what might happen if its beam were to be discharged by accident? If we use that thing, it would devastate all of Lagrange 4 along with the Veteran head office. Who would take the fall for it? Well, the League would, obviously. But in the wake of our unfortunate oversight, the sovereign government of Lagrange 1 would have little difficulty with rebuilding efforts, especially with an army of corporate volunteers on call. It should be simple enough to resolve through arbitration, with control of the Minaret Group being awarded to Pale Technologies. Let's move out. Everyone stay close. The data storm is calmer in here. We should be safe. Well, that's good to know. Take this. Do what? You've had firearms training, that right? Sure, but I could never... Well, I'm certainly not giving it to a student. I... <sighs> All right. Let's put in the code and shut this thing down. Hold on a sec! Shoot you! Intruders will be eliminated. <laughs> so this is a gunner. In this thing, a match for you, brother. I can beat you now. <laughs> I can crush the witches! <laughs> and Miorine! Lara, you have to stop! If you keep going, you'll- You need to wake up, brother! It's that woman's crimes that got that killed! She is why Petra is at death's door! And if you won't, make her pay for it! You're wrong! Please listen to me! I will defend the honor of the Jeter's name! My older brother is enthralled to a witch! He can no longer bear our family sins! But I can! Louder Jeter can! <laughs> So you're Lauda, huh? <laughs> well, I'm Gwell, and I'm so glad I can call you my little brother. Down! 
down, you idiot. Where the hell did you get a gun? Honestly, does it matter? Miss Winston, get President Miorine to the core block. But I... You got this, Miorine. Get in there and finish the job! No pressure, but please do it fast! Let's go. I'd rather no one died. Let me take care of him. You didn't have to rub it in like that. It'll be in here. Try and work fast if you would. Got it, thanks. Here, let me try. What's going on? The emergency shutdown code. It was overdue for an update. Surely you didn't think I'd be that careless. Miorine's inside with Mom. Even if she only needs one, she'll move forward. No! Leave us. We can live freely here. Don't take that away. Elnora, please, you don't have to do this! Of course I do. My area is the embodiment of Vanadis' ideals. And yet, there is no place for her in this world. I'm going to create one. I'll make a place where Eri can be happy. Eri, Eri, Eri! Does Suleta mean anything to you? I love her dearly. But I know she'll be fine with friends like you. Do you have any idea how she must feel piloting the Collie Barn? She was terrified that they would kill her! Her voice was shaking, but she fought through the fear for your sake! Because she loves you both! If you're a real mother, then you should love your daughters equally! Don't talk as if you know. Are you trying to reprogram it? If I can get full access through a back door. <sighs> now, be a good girl and hand over this. <laughs> no more. I refuse to keep running. No more! Infiltrating Quiet Zero systems. What is this? Throw everything to security. Too late. We're being overrun.
definitely not a killer. Maybe you should try helping people instead. Move forward and gain two. Weren't those your words? Then take your own advice and move forward. Cause soon, you, Suleta, and Eric, all of us, are going to be one family. Quiet Zero has been taken offline. Now then, you can withdraw. Not quite. I'm afraid your conglomerate has grown far too big for its own good. Moving power transmission preparation to phase five. Array set up with an error range. Phase control systems all green. Targeting data. Trajectory prediction complete. Interplanetary laser transmission system. Commencing test firing at high output. for the next blast. It will take some time to recharge. We then dispatch our mobile suits for the time being. That's messed up. Is that what I think it is? Confirming spread of thermological information entropy. Contamination has now reached critical levels. Oh, Miss Lena! Are you in much pain? Harry. Till and the others are looking into it. <gasps> you shouldn't try to move yet! You have to... Harry it is. The blast that just hit was an interplanetary laser transmission at high output, which means it'll need time to recharge before they can fire it again. In that case, I'll go make us some tea. Start explaining. What happened to Suleta and the others? Uh, those markings. Are they... Hey, we need to get out of here. <laughs> Nobody move a muscle. Nika! Choo-choo! Did you just forget that I'm here too? 
President Miorine, it's all over. You know what to do. Attention headquarters. Another attack will be a violation of the law. The Benarid group was the first to violate the principles of peace between the fronts and thus has no claim to innocence. The Space Assembly League is acting with cause in this matter to defend our members. Were you able to hear anything from Miss Ariad? I tried, but it didn't work. <gasps> the drive systems are badly damaged. That might be the reason. Hang on! I can rewire propulsion controls and shift them from Ariel to Collibarn. We may not be as handy as someone like Nika, but at least all that work we've been putting into Ariel has paid off. <laughs> Listen, I haven't forgiven any of you yet. Mr. Lauda? But if my brother doesn't come back unharmed, that's even less forgivable. Great. We'll head directly there. Right. The Space Assembly League. What are they doing? President Cheddar, please return to Quiet Zero. Focus on your objective. Optical transmission? Are you sure? We have not received orders to engage them. And I'd rather not get caught in the line of fire. A laser transmission system? Originally, it was built to be a part of Lagrange One's power infrastructure. But there are rumors that it was co-opted for military use. You have one last chance. Hand over the aerial. Otherwise, I'll have no choice but to ensure that your lives in here and now. I told you. <sighs> Despite everything you've done, Suleta still cares about you. No one has to tell her to come back. And I can guarantee you, Ariel's with her. Suleta, you're here. why I lose you. And I'm sure Eric doesn't want that either. I'm positive. That's why we don't need Sorry, Miss 
Sir Elian, it's my fault that you... If you mean our duel, I don't regret it. But what I do regret is standing you up. We never had our date. No. It's fine. Are you ready? Saletta Mercury? Yes. Another data storm? signs of an attack.
actually made it past score eight. Suleta is the only person who could ever surpass Ares' score. It was always her. Elnora. It's time to return to our children. Nadim, but how are... You saw it through to the end. All of us are so proud. But still, are you sure it's time for her to join us? Just come home. Haven't you done enough? I can't. How could I ever forgive myself? I lost Nadim, Dr. Cardo, and everyone else. If anything happened to Eri now... I'm proud of you too, Mom. Suleta, you used Ariel to bring them all here. This whole time, all you wanted was a future for Eri, not just revenge. Even if everyone objects, or they say that was wrong, if the future is what you choose, I'll always support that. But you know everything. Zero just completely disappeared. Miorine, you're here. <gasps> Don't keep me waiting next time. Idiot. Mika. Welcome back. How was the certification test? <laughs> As if we'd expect anything less from our ace mechanic. How will you balance work and school? Best I can. Where's Choo Choo? Raji! You can't just talk about asking me again, little spaceship turd! I could report you for verbal <laughs> harassment. Come on! She could 
have at least written down the location. I still don't get why you lied. Hmm. Plant Coetta was one thing, but you never had anything to do with Quiet Zero. I made that decision a long time ago. Are you headed to Quinn Harbor? Yes. Making up for what we did will be hard for both of us. The trial is about to start. That's my cue. Thanks again, Yorige. Best of luck. You're sure? About what? You're not being honest. Shut up. Just saying, maybe you should listen to your sister-in-law's advice. You remind me of your mom sometimes, you know. We got the news. I'll be testing for Gundam as of next week. And I plan on staying with Petra. I can't keep relying on my big brother forever. That's fair. See you soon. Mr. Karras, I'm grateful for this new proposal, but... Uh... Are we forgetting that I'm the one who kept Dostacasia open? Not to mention how I found new jobs for all your employees. The least you could do is hear me out. Big whoop. But what exactly do you plan to add here? Remember, I'm the one who drew up the documents. Your profit-sharing scheme, it seems a little stingy. Well, duh. Gotta spend money to make money. Right, President Jetter? <laughs> have been distributed but it won't be long before the stations scoop them back up are we certain this was the right move there are as many right moves as there are people and we all make mistakes no matter how hard we try but we have to keep moving forward now and always here too i do i'm still working on getting better control of my body and mom seems to enjoy the time we've spent here so far i don't see what's so great about living out in the countryside well maybe we can answer that after we figure out how you exist it's not like i understand it either but whatever made it so that i could be transferred out of the area that was definitely you suara I can't think of anyone else who could pull something like that off. Suleta! Fiorne! Everyone! Let's go home. Right. Actually, I'm getting pretty hungry. Me too.